Lots of customer ask me how to send order confirmation SMS automatically when their customer placed an order of multiple products not just of single product. So in this video I'll show you the same that how to send order confirmation SMS for multiple products or line items automatically. So using Shopify one can create his own online store and using Twilio one can also send the SMS and there is no direct connection in these applications so in this video with the help of an automation software we will be integrating these applications so that whenever the order is placed of multiple products an order confirmation SMS will be sent to the same customer automatically want to learn how you can also automate this come with me and I will show you everything step by step so this is the dashboard of Shopify and this is the dashboard of Twilio application and let me tell you in place of Twilio you can also use other SMS application like ClickSend for sending the order confirmation SMS. Now in front of you I will be placing a dummy order with the multiple products and you will see how an order confirmation SMS will be sent automatically along with all product details using this Twilio application. But for that firstly I will have to build a connection in these two applications which I will do with the help of Pabli Connect which is an amazing integration and automation software. I am an existing user of Pabli Connect so I am already logged in here. You can create your free account in Pabli Connect in just 2 minutes from this sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free tasks to test these kind of amazing automation. Now once you will log in and reach out to the dashboard of Pabli Connect click on this blue button that is create workflow and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation so I have directly pasted the name as send order confirmation SMS for multiple products now it is asking to select the folder in which you want to create your automation workflow so I'm selecting this main workflow folder now clicking on create and after that you will find two boxes so these boxes are called as trigger and action and here the trigger means when this happens and action means do this so whenever something happen in your first application then automatically do this in your next application so in this way you need to always choose your applications in this trigger and the action window in which you are building an automation okay so according to our use case I want that whenever the order is placed via customer in Shopify application then automatically send the SMS the order confirmation SMS via Twilio application and here I'm assuming that you have already created an account in Shopify as well as in this Twilio application and after selecting these two application in this Pabli connect in this trigger and action window we will be connecting these two applications one by one with the Pabli connect okay so let's first connect our Shopify store with the Pabli connect so firstly I will be selecting the trigger event that is new order so give me a second here you can notice lot of trigger events are available and I'll go with the same that is trigger when a new order is placed so yes I want to perform the same and as soon as you select the trigger event you will notice a webhook URL along with a few set of instructions so with the help of this URL only we are going to connect our Shopify store with the Pabli connect okay but before you copy this webhook URL make sure that you disable this simple response and enable the advanced response yes for sending the SMS of multiple products we will have to capture the product details into the advanced response not into the simple response so I have enabled the advanced response now you can copy this webhook URL and go to your settings and then go to the notification okay so this is the dashboard this is the setting section and here you will find the notification section how about I directly search for the notifications and if you will click here you will have to scroll down and you will find the webhook option here clicking on this create webhook button and pasting the same webhook URL which we have got via Pabli connect and in the event you will have to select the same event that is order created or order updated because we have selected the same trigger event in the dashboard of Pabli connect all right here we have the event that is order create and in the format you will have to select the JSON only and in this API version always choose the latest one okay so the idea here is whenever the order is created in our Shopify store the order data will be sent to this specific webhook URL
URL and this URL has been taken from the dashboard of Pabli Connect. So basically, the order details will be captured via Pabli Connect only. Okay, so how about I click on the save button and in this way, the URL will be added and that means now onwards what will happen? Every time someone will place an order, the details will be captured via Pabli Connect as a webhook response. Okay, so my store is already opened. How about I place an order of multiple products? So I'm taking this LED bulb in my cart. Okay, clicking on add to cart going back and here i will be placing an order of multiple products how about i also order this tube light adding it to cart once again going back and here we have other products also how about i add this beauty blender package again this is a test product so i have added the name as new test only basically the whole store is a testing store only this is not a real store i have created this store just to show you how things can be automated all right I have added this particular thing also. How about I also order this smartphone? Well, I'm really sorry. I think this order is sold out. Basically, the product is sold out. Okay. I think three products would be sufficient. Now, going to my checkout page, basically to my cart. And here you can notice all three products are there. How about I order this specific product? Basically, I am increasing the quantity as three. Okay. Because I'll show you how you can send the SMS for multiple. Multiple products and for the products which has the better quantity increased quantity okay clicking on this checkout button and using some dummy details and a dummy credit card details I will be placing a dummy order okay so how about I add the email address as dummy user 123 at pablitudes.com okay as a credit card i will add the number as one only because again i'm using the testing card details expiration details all right i have added some random name on the card will be bogus gateway and here i will again change the number as one okay asking for other details give me a second dummy will be the name of the person user will be the last name of the person address is d11 Rishi Kalp. All right, it is looking good. I think it has changed. It should be Rishi Kalp. Our apartment is A B C. City is Bhopal. State will be Madhya Pradesh only. Pin code will be four six two zero two one. Phone number again. I am adding a dummy phone number. But don't worry, I will replace this dummy number with my genuine SMS number. All right, I have provided all the details. How about I click on this Pay Now button? And as soon as the order is successful here you will notice that the same order details will be captured here as a response all right waiting for the response fingers crossed and here you can notice the responses received let me even show you the details one by one here we have the date of the order placement let me show you other details here we have the total amount of the order that is 1720 how about we cross check yes it is the same amount showing you other details basically the product details as well as the customer details okay scrolling down and here we have all the customer details basically the first name the country the state the pin code and we have all the details okay now i'll show you the product quantity the product details and every single detail so you can directly search for the line items and remember we have captured this data not into the simple response but into the advanced response so you will find the same data into the array format give me a second let me show you let me take you to the line item section all right here we have the line item section and here you can find the product id as well as the quantity of the product as well as the name of the product and the price of the product here we have the price as 500 here we also have the product name give me a second let me show you let me find it so scrolling down and here you will find the product name also which was well, I'll have to check what exactly the product of 1500. All right. It was new test. Okay. So how about I search for the same that is new test. Okay. So here you can find the name of the product also. Okay. So in this way, we have captured all the details and not just a single product. We have the details of the second product also. That is this LED tube. And remember, we had placed the order of third product that was LED bulb. Okay. How about I directly copy and search for the same okay so in this way you can capture the order details inside dashboard of pabli connect 
and the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between Pabli Connect and Shopify is working absolutely fine. So now onwards what will happen? Every time someone will place an order in our Shopify store, the details will be captured via Pabli Connect instantly because this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time. Okay, so in this way, the first step of our automation is done. Now, before we send the SMS directly to our customers, I will have to convert this JSON data, basically this array into a simpler format. Okay, basically into the readable format. So how you can do that? Simply click on this plus icon after your Shopify step and search for code by Pabli which is an amazing feature of Pabli Connect using which you can convert your code. Okay, so selecting code by Pabli and in the action event, go with this run JavaScript beta. Now simply click on connect and it will be connected immediately. And now it will ask you to provide the JavaScript code, basically the same code which we have captured in as a response of our Shopify step. Remember this line items. And the interesting thing here is I don't need to manually copy this line item data and paste below again and again for every new order. I am going to map this data so that it will be replaced automatically when our automation will work in real time and mapping is very simple. You just need to click on this field and you will find the above data here in the drop down. Now you can search for your data while well, I'm searching for the line items and here we have the JavaScript code basically the array. How about I click on this save and send test request button and you will notice a response will be generated and that response if that response is positive that means the second step is working fine well i'm really sorry i have forgot to add the javascript code i have directly added this line items basically the array here so firstly i'm gonna remove this data once again give me a second let me remove this line items and now you will have to paste this post in this particular box okay don't worry i will paste this code in my description also from where you can copy this code and you will have to paste this code in this javascript code section and after this is equal to and before the semicolon you will have to map the line items okay so searching for the same give me a second that is line items all right so here we have the line item how about i directly click on this button save and send test request and you will notice that a response will be received and this time that response will consist of all the products product name along with the quantity along with the price as well so here you can notice these are the same details basically the same product details for which we have placed an order in our Shopify store. So the presence of this data clearly shows that the second step is also working absolutely fine. Now we can directly send this data as an SMS, as an order confirmation SMS to our customer. Okay, as I have told you, I will be using Twilio application for sending the SMS. In place of that, you can also use different application. You just need to search for your favorite application instead of Twilio. Now select the action event that is send sms message clicking on connect then clicking on add a new connection and for the connection it will ask you the account sid the authorization token and once again this sid okay so if you will log in in this twilio dashboard you just need to scroll down and you will find all the details in the dashboard only so i have copied that sid let me paste the same at both the places and let me also copy this authorization token and after that i'll be clicking on the save button and in this way my Twilio account will be immediately connected with Pabli Connect and here you can notice it is connected and firstly it is asking for the body of the SMS basically the SMS you want to send so I want to add the order related details in this field because I want to share the same details with my customer but along with that I will have to compose a nice a better SMS so here you can notice in my description box basically in my notepad I have already prepared a nice and a small text that is hello dummy user so yes the name of the person will appear here automatically because we are going to map the name of the customer your order is successful here is the product details that you have ordered and after this dash after this hyphen only we will be mapping the product details it will be delivered
forward with the next seven days thanks abc store okay so let me copy and paste the same thing and let me first correct the formatting of my sms and after this hello again i will be mapping the name of the person which was dummy user all right i have mapped it successfully your order is successful here are the product details that you have entered that you have ordered okay give me a second let me press enter here all right i'll have to first close this box taking my cursor here here is the product details instead of here is i think i should add here are the product details that you have ordered and after this hyphen i will be mapping the same details from this code by pabli step okay it will be delivered within the next 7 days thanks abc store i hope this message is looking good all right how about i move further and provide the sender as well as the receiver number okay so in place of receiver number you will have to provide the number of the customer from the above data only so let me search for the same but this is a dummy number so i will be replacing this number with my genuine phone number then i'll show you the sms screenshot and for the sender number you can again go back to your twilio dashboard and get the twilio phone number from here directly paste the same and click on this button and in this way the sms will be sent automatically but this is is a dummy number so i will have to replace this number with my genuine number and then i will upload the screenshot of the very same sms here give me a second All right so this is the sms i have received on my phone number so this is the sms text hello dummy user your order is successful here are the product details that you have ordered and here you can notice three new test of rupees 1500 one led tube light of rupees 120 and one led bulb of rupees 100 it will be delivered within next 7 days abc uh, thanks abc store okay so did you notice how i was able to receive the order confirmation sms on on my own phone number and here you can notice one more very interesting thing that all these sms lines are actually separated via a new line okay so you cannot directly add these new lines by pressing a simple enter within your text you will have to add the slash new n in your message here you can notice it is clearly written that you can use slash n for new line characters so wherever i wanted to add a new line I have added the slash line slash n character within my text. Okay, so I hope you have understood how you can do that. And just in case, if you want to access this three-step automation inside your Pabli Connect account, I will also attach the link of my automation workflow into the description box. So click on this link, sign up for free into the Pabli Connect, and then you will be able to access the same workflow inside your own Pabli Connect account that too for free. And once this automation is ready inside Pabli Connect, after that you can sit back and relax because pabli connect will take care of all the task in the back end you do not have to do anything manually every time a new order is placed by your customer of multiple products the sms will be sent to the same customer automatically sharing all the product and order related details Not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video